it has been mentioned, and you may have seen it or not seen it on, on different forums, that the Forte pedals could just as well be a potentiometer brake system because our load cell is depending on physical movement. So I prepared a little show and tell here because let's face it, at the end of the day, most people don't really know what a load cell actually is. And I only know because I'm now building sim products. No, I actually knew it from university. Uh, so what we have here is what we call a load cell. This one happens to be from our Forte pedals. And then the claim goes that we are depending on the physical movement because elsewise it will not sense anything. That was a very smart guy who said that because he's absolutely correct. And uh, the reason is that this little brown thing with the wires coming out, that's actually a strain gauge. You can put it on a bridge and then you can see how much is the bridge moving when it's uh, when there's a storm and you can do all kinds of things. You can put it on the building. It, the way it works is it will change its resistance when it's bent or when it's deflected. So if you put it on a thin piece of pedal uh, or metal like I have here, uh, it's a small load so if you put it on a big one like this, a big piece of metal, uh, you could say this load cell is rated for 200 kilos. It's a Mavin. It's used by many sim racing companies. Uh, in fact, the company is uh, headquartered in Xiamen in China, a few minutes from our uh, liquid cooling factory, so we know them very well. Um, but you can see, if you hold them up against each other, you have this little brown spot on both of them. That's the strain gauge. So it's actually the strain gauge that tells you something about the quality or the resolution. Everything else around it is just a piece of metal. So this one can sense 200 kilos. If you put 200 kilos on this one, you'll obviously bend the metal. Here we have an interesting one. There's a huge load cell. The strain gauge inside is the same as this one. So this one you push directly onto the load cell and then um, the strain gauge will deflect and then it will change its resistance and then the, the OS of the brake pedals will then determine, okay, how hard are you pushing? So my argument is that any load cell on the planet is actually relying on physical movement and that, that's independent if it's your mom's kitchen weight or if it's a truck weigh, uh, weighing a, you know, a 50 ton truck. Then you could say, okay, what, what about uh, quality? This one is probably $30. So roughly when you add VAT, shipping, our margin, uh, reseller margin, this will cost you, the end user, $100. So if we use that in the Forte, the price would be $5.99 instead of $4.99. It's big, it's ugly, it doesn't really uh, fit very well within our uh, Forte design uh, here. Uh, so why did we pick this one? Well, because it does the job just as well as this one. And of course, we want to pick the cheapest possible version that lives up to our quality standards so that we can sell the most valuable uh, products without breaking the bank. If you really wanted to take this to the extreme, we could put the strain gate directly on the pedal. And then you would actually feel the deflection of the pedal. But then again, you would have wires and everything uh, laying around. So, so what's the point? Um, and then in, in this question also is uh, you could just as well use a potentiometer. I read it like the people who are talking about potentiometers is because they really don't know what they're talking about because you can have bad and cheap potentiometers and you can have excellent potentiometers. And as an example, the Audi R8 that we had to push out, our GT3 car, it has a travel measuring system on the dampers. And as you can imagine, when you drive a race car and you go over a curb, the wheels are moving really fast. Uh, there we have a linear potentiometer. Basically all the race cars I know of their travel measuring system on the suspension is actually a linear potentiometer. And for sure, we could have put a potentiometer on this one uh, here, and it would be as good, if not better, than most of the sim racing pedals on the market. So don't think that just because something is called a potentiometer, it's bad. 
There are bad integrations of potentiometers. There are bad pedals. There are cheap pedals. There's everything. But the technology itself doesn't really uh, matter here. And, and just to talk about the, the forte here, you know, some people were, were worried about uh, the resolution. We get questions like, uh, can it even sense when I'm pushing it a little? So if I just take this uh, load cell here again, this load cell, when you push this with 100 kilos, the load cell will deflect less than one millimeter. So what that means is the resolution we have is around 4,000 points. So there's 4,000 points in one millimeter of travel. It can sense it if I fart on it. So don't worry, it's really sensitive. And say, so how sensitive is it? Well, it actually means that with the resolution we have, each point is 0 0.00025 millimeters or a 240th fraction of a human hair. And I will challenge you that anyone who can feel that resolution with their toes will get a free set of Invicta pedals for me uh, because that's hydraulic pressure, so that will measure anything. So what I'm just trying to get at here is what we worry about when we design products at Acetec is they feel right and they work right. If we have competitors who believe we are doing it wrong, then great for them, then they can do it right. Uh, I'm not going to compromise the way we do it. We have Formula One drivers, we have race car drivers, we have sim racers, we have, I don't know, 10, 15 reviewers saying that the Forza pedals are some of the best pedals they ever used. You know, that's good enough for me. Uh, and if our competitors don't like it, don't buy our product.